Welcome back to our devotional for today. Let's start this with a prayer asking the Lord to speak to us once more. Let's pray. Dear Lord, thank you for this opportunity that we can tune in again into your channel where you can speak to us and help us that our hearts and minds will be ready to accept and to receive your message with gladness. In Yes' name we pray. Amen. We're moving on now to the next uh, segment of our devotional. We're still in uh, chapter 2, but uh, you will notice that uh, most of chapter 2 is a uh, flashback or going back to the details of what happened when uh, God created Adam and Eve on the sixth day. And so let's uh, read Genesis 2, 7. And the Lord God formed men of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life and man became a living soul. So this is how God uh, created Adam to start with. It says uh, God formed men from the dust or from the soil of uh, the ground and then God lowered himself just imagine God with his hands getting dirty because he gathered this the the soil uh, wet it so that it can be formed God did not just speak just like the way he created uh, in the first five days and also the first part of the sixth day God even talk among themselves and say let us make men and after their conference uh, God formed Adam from the dust of the earth and then he lowered himself down to the level so that he can breathe the breath of life coming from God into Adam himself. And what happened? Adam became, became a living soul. And so we know how Eve was uh, created. Uh, Adam noticed that uh, he was alone, whereas animals were created by pair. And so God caused Adam to sleep and then uh, uh, have... Uh, I'll, I'll read. It says in the, uh, verse 21, And the Lord God caused a deep sleep to fall upon Adam, and he slept. And he took one of his ribs and closed up the flesh instead thereof. And the rib which the Lord had taken from man made he a woman and brought her unto, our, unto the, the man. And Adam said, This is now bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. She shall be called woman because she was taken out of man. And so... The very important message of the Lord uh, to Adam and Eve after they were created was that you are the crowning act of my creation. Of all the created beings, you are the one created after my image. I made you special above everything I created. You are precious to me. I did not just speak and you came into being. I dirted my hand to form you and lowered myself to your level and personally breathed into your nostril my breath that you may live. What is God telling us? Even though we are generations after Adam and Eve and yet we are still considered special in the sight of God. It's not only that we are created after His image, but he can communicate with us as if we're just friends. God fellowshiped with them. God uh, walked uh, with them. And uh, the way God created our first parents is telling us, don't believe in the notion that you just evolved from a lower form of animal. No. You are special to me because I was the one who created you. 
and I took time. I dirted my hands and uh, I made you so special, not like any other individuals. So our identity as uh, individuals is that we are created being a special uh, creation in the hands of God. The reason why some people have a very low self-concept because they don't know where they come from. You notice those who are adopted and yet they cannot find who their real parents are. It's a, a trauma for them that they don't know their origin. But for you and me, we know where we came from. We were created special. You are created special. That's why don't let anybody uh, look down on you. You are special in the sight of God. Not just Adam and Eve, but including me, including you. And let's praise the Lord for that. Heavenly Father, what a joy to be reminded that we are the crowning up of your creation. Help us to uh, give thanks to you and recognize your efforts and live up to your expectation that we are created after your image. Help us to reflect who you are and that we can sense a closeness to you in the sense that you want us to be your children, you want us to be a special friend to you, and you want a close fellowship and communion with us. May we treasure this kind of special treatment from you, even today, for we ask this all in Jesus' name. Amen.